Well, hi folks, welcome to Smoogleville. And in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble this rather excellent Rockler Beach Woodworkers Bench. Very solid, lovely wood beach, very stable. This should stay flat for many years. It has two bench screws, as you can see, a nice shelf underneath for putting your chisels, planes, whatever you happen to be working with at the time. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this thing based on the instructions they sent. The instructions are good, but there's a few things that uh, I can share with you as I went through this process that you know you should be aware of when you're starting to put this together. We do have to be careful about the, the handing of things, which way around they're done, because we are gluing and doweling, the, particularly the leg assembly. And if we get that wrong, we can't undo it because it's glued. So we've got to get it right first time. So it's just a little bit of extra thought setting it up. It only took about, took me about an hour and 15 minutes and that's with a filming overhead. Okay, uh, it'll probably take you less time with, uh, when you're not having to stop to uh, uh, adjust cameras and so on. So uh, you'll probably do this in, in well under an hour, I, I would guess. It really is straightforward, but I do want to show you the, the sequence of events so you can learn from any potential mistakes I might, might have made, okay? So without further ado, let's jump in to the video and show you how to put this puppy together. So here's all the parts that came in the box. We have a, a 3 8 plywood board there, which is nice and, nice and robust. That'll be the tray underneath. We have the worktop there as well, made of beech also, nice and solid. And if we take a look, in the back there uh, and you can see here there's some pilot holes for where the where the vices will be located okay we also have these are the other parts that came in the box we've got these are for the handles on the vices we have the actual vice blocks themselves again nice and solid beach these are the feet and if we come over here, we have the leg parts here, again all beach. And then these guys here are where the uh, where the tray will go underneath. So that's gonna that's gonna sit in that room like that. We also have two bench screw devices there ready to go in the bench screws ready to go and uh, we have also a bag of of goodies here containing all of the necessary we've got some dogs there we've got some bolts we've got some dowels which we'll need for the for the feet okay it's important we get these parts right the tops have a hole in where it will get screwed ultimately to the bench top over there and the bottoms are just, there's no holes, so I know that we need one of each of those. Right, one more thing. Make sure that the legs with the dog holes are on the, out, on the outside, all right? So, oh, don't get caught with that. Keep an eye on some of these legs are different. So, make sure you've got one without dog holes and one with dog holes, okay? Very important, those will be dog, uh, bench dog storage. Okay, so let's turn these up. Let's put the, put all the load all the dowels in. Here yeah, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush some glue in there. Okay, so we'll use the glue pot and we'll brush some glue into these onto these dowels. Alright, so let's get that opened up. So get a generous amount. These are very these are quite loose these dowels. So we're gonna need to get a fair bit of uh, fair bit of glue going there. Let's uh, just brush that on. Alright, do that for the rest of them and then uh, we'll put it all together. All right, now I've got all those glued in, I'm gonna add some more glue to these puppies. Let's get some on the end. I'll use the brush to get it down. All right, and uh, get it on the, all the parts. All right. Let's assemble this thing. 
And so I've got to think, we've got to be very careful now, make sure that right, my bench dogs, actually it doesn't matter which way around this goes, because I think, other than the fact that this is going to be the inside right, of this bench. Now these are tighter, this is the, actually the top I'm starting with here, and the holes for the dowels on the legs are tighter. So, oops. make sure my that's it, so this will be the one end of it. There we go, let's line those up. Alright, and let's wiggle those into place. There we go. And I'll get my mallet on that in a moment. Just to make sure. Yeah, it'd be nice if they were that tight on both sides, frankly. But anyway, just gentle. Wiggle with a mallet. To try and get that to come on. That's it, that's got those in. Right, now what I'm doing here, I want to make sure I get everything the right way around. These dowels are on the inside. What I want to do, and there's my there's my bench dog holders there, that's my top, that's my foot. So I've set up another foot here, and I'm making sure. There's my dowel holes, they're not right the way through of course, so they're going to hold that shelf. I'm going to make sure, so I've stood it up so I can visualise more, more clearly which way around everything goes, right? That's got no dog holes in, that's the back leg there, let's call that the back. And then again we've got the foot going on top. So as long as I follow that sort of pattern of assembly, uh, I shouldn't make a mistake and get one of these back to front because because I'm gluing it. Once I've made a mistake, I'm kind of done, so. Because we really don't want to get these, these back to front, so I've got to be real careful. There's my dog holes. Uh, my shelf is going to be in here. So I'm going to make sure that that lines up. So I'm going to lay that down that way. Lay that down that way. Put my dowels in and repeat as we did before. on that shortly. I'll just pull them up like that for now. Get them in place. Do that for the next four. Okay, just need to go. Yeah, I don't know if I over tighten this, but yeah, let's tighten that. That's, that's good. Let's do the other end. Okay, right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the, the uh, bench screws now. I'm um, just resting it on its own stand to try and keep some weight on those dowel joints while they're gluing up. But this next part, kind of the interesting part, we'll need a, a screwdriver for this. And these, these bench screws, one's going here, there's four holes carved out for that, we're going to have to open them to do this and then uh, there's another set there so let's get these bench screws in ok I'll use one of these for it so we've got four pilot holes here this pilot hole will be when we screw the bench on so we're going to flip this over and screw that on but we've got, we've got to open it first for this to work so let's uh, open the bench screw Screw right up. Maybe 
Maybe I can upgrade to one of those quick release jobs eventually, you know. So, open that right up, that should just slide out of there, and we're gonna screw that puppy in there and then bring this back in that way, alright? Something I did want to point out, and I noticed in these instructions, these two here, it's important, they look very similar, okay? Because they've supplied us with uh, fully threaded, not these bolts here. So, uh, which is more, it's more obvious that that one's longer. So do watch out for that. Uh, separate your, separate your, your 14s and your 16s like that, okay? And I noticed also on the download instructions that those numbers were, uh, that, that was switched around. That was 14, that was 15, and that's 16. So just a couple of things to watch out for if you download the instructions rather than use the ones that came in the box. That's different. Uh, but notice they're longer. And what you don't want to do is put that one in the bottom block because uh, that will pop through the top of the workbench if you do that. Okay, it's too long. So let's screw this in using the pilot holes provided. And that's fine, they're going in all nice. Perfect pilots, that's absolutely solid, love it. Right, now we're gonna now we put the we take the vise here and we're gonna run this through the holes just like that. Right, and then I'm gonna screw those on on in position and again we've got pilot holes so this should come up right when we do this all right so let's get those lined up these are longer so it'll take a bit more winding to get them in as you expect but that's a thicker piece of wood so and we've got more purchase because we've got it's a thicker piece of wood but we've only got two screws holding it so all right, looks good. Line that up. And start screwing that bench screw. And there it goes. Yeah, that's lining up nicely. Yeah, good. All right, let's do the other end. Okay, here we go. Let's do the end vise now. Uh, they put the bench screw in. And again, we've got pilot holes. Lovely. Again, being careful to use the shorter of the two screws in the pack. Those are the longer ones are the 14s and uh, the shorter ones are the 16s, all right? So make sure you use the shorter of those of those hex heads to uh, screw this on or it'll pop through the bench. And it really doesn't take much to screw those in, but this is a, the beauty of hardwood is that the pilot hole can be fairly generous uh, and it will still grab that screw like, like you wouldn't believe and that is mm, super strong I mean you never pull that off and then we got those two screw holes there to line up so let's just screw those in real fast again the longer screws go into the actual vice jaw part Solid, really, really solid. Now let's get that in. So, parking those. Come on. <laughs> there it is, just got to line those up. Let that, let that bench screw catch. Oh, that's not very level, is it? Let's see if I can improve on that a little. Let's make an adjustment here. I'm lift that screw out a little. There we go. Realign that. The pilots are in good alignment, I just wasn't well aligned. And when we pull that in, we can now get that and see that that's level. You want that level, obviously. Uh, you don't want it sticking up one end or something. So look at that, lovely. That's, uh, let's put the ends on on our handles here. Now again, it's down. All right, lovely. Let's get those in, and then we've got four screws left in the bag, and those are going to be for actually screwing this to the legs, which is going to involve me basically flipping this, flipping this over. I've got one or two 
splash on. That's uh, brush that on there like that. Just do one hand, of course. We don't want to do both hands right yet, cause that would be bad. All right. Ah, I don't want a little over a bit of overspill there, but never mind. That's all good. All right. One hand only. Oh dear. Sound that off probably. There you go. And let's fit that puppy. Alright. There it goes. And let's keep that level while it's drying so. for a few mins. Excellent. All right, we are ready for the last operation, which is simply to screw the bench to the legs. So I'm just going to flip it for that and screw it on, and we are in great shape. Okay, right, we're ready. Let's, we'll flip this over now onto the legs. We're going to line these holes up, run some screws in, and we are we are done. We have ourselves a beautiful beach rock club workbench. That's, uh, there we go. Alright, let's flip that carefully. Line that up. How are we doing on this side? Pretty good. Getting this first one that's going to be the, there, it goes there. That's it, that's the pilot hole. All right, once you catch one, should, others should be easier. Let's wind that in. Yep, good. All right, do the others. Just on that. That's it. Straight in. That is done. Yeah, that's it. Really good. So there it is, got it assembled, got my, checked out my bench dogs, I've got that gripped in there with that, that's perfect. We are ready to do some woodwork projects folks.